Hey first graders, it's Mrs. Daniel from Citizenship Academy and today let's look at what we're going to do for math. We're on lesson three in module two and our objective for today is make ten when one atom is nine. Okay, so let's look at this. Maria has nine snowballs and Tony has three. How many do they have all together? What is the expression to solve this problem? So the expression to solve the problem is just your addition sentence. Nine plus three, very good. We have nine and we have three. And because they're saying, how many do they have all together? You take nine, you take three, and you put them all together. And that means you're adding. So nine plus three. We can use linking cubes to show how many Maria has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we can show linking cubes for Tony's three. Right there. Our equation is nine plus three equals 12. Hmm, is there a way to make a 10 with the amounts that we have in front of us? We have nine. Hmm. I can make a 10 by moving one red cube to the green pile. So if we have nine cubes in the green pile, and we had three red. If we take one over, now nine and one more gives us 10. So now we have 10 on one side plus two. These are equal. I did not add any cubes. We're still using 12 cubes. We just changed how many was in each group. So I took one from over here and I put it over here. So the answer of 9 plus 3 is 12, and we get the same answer for 10 plus 2, 12. We did not add any cubes. We used the cubes that we started with. How many snowballs do Maria and Tony have? 12 snowballs. This time, Maria has 9 snowballs, and Tony has 2. How many do they have all together? What is the expression to solve this problem? So we are going to say we have 9 plus 2. And remember, we're adding because we're taking two groups and we're putting them together. So 9 plus 2. So we have 9 here again. And we have 2 over here. Our equation is 9 plus 2 equals 11. And we want to use these numbers to make a 10. We can move one red cube to the green pile. So we can take one red cube and move it over here to the green pile. Now we have a group of 10. And how many is left over here? One. So our new problem is 10 plus 1. They put this equal sign here because they're saying we started with 9 plus 2, and that is equal to, it's the same answer as 10 plus 1. They both equal 11. We just moved a cube from over here and put it over here, and that made it easier to add. How many snowballs do Maria and Tony have? 11 snowballs. This time, Maria has nine snowballs and Tony has five snowballs. How many do they have all together? The expression is nine plus five. They're using these numbers right here, nine plus five. So we have nine cubes on that side, 
we have one, two, three, four, five cubes on that side. We want to make a 10 by moving one red cube to the green. So we took a one cube from over here and moved it over here. So now we have one, two, three, four over here. We have nine green and one more gives us 10. So we have 10 and four giving us 14. So we have 10 and four, which is the same as what we started with, nine and five. They each give us 14, the answer 14. It is the same. Okay. Tim picked nine apples. His sister picked eight more apples. How many apples do they have now? So our addition sentence is nine plus eight. So we're going to show nine and we're going to show eight. We have nine here, we have eight here. And that shows how much they picked. So we're going to make a 10 by moving one circle to the other group. So in the group that we had nine circles, we're going to move and we're going to put one circle to make 10 here and seven here. So our original problem was nine plus eight equals 17. This problem is 10 plus seven. We took one from here and we added it here. Now we have a nice equal 10 plus 7 equals 17. Our answer is still the same. Okay, friends, that's all for today. We've reached the end. You can go and work on your problem set and your exit ticket, okay? Have a great day. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow.